Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris. The countdown to your breakthrough has begun. We are being set free from things that restrained us. We are being set free from our past. This is the season to break through and to regain all that was lost. That is the word that the Lord ministered to me to come and share with us today. But before we get into this word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name. Lord, thank you for yet another opportunity to share your word. I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. It's going to be an encouragement and a revelation. And not your word, Lord, even as I release it. And I pray that whoever is going to hear this word, Lord, they shall hear that which you're saying in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 34 to 36, it reads like this. But David said to Saul, your servant used to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both a lion and a bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them seeing he has defied the armies of the living god now this is a word for now moving forward david killed the bear he killed a lion he killed goliath before ascending to the throne his father and his brothers didn't believe in him but prophet samuel still anointed him all the same and he became king over israel despite the fact that king saul wanted to destroy him he still ascended to the throne now listen many of you have killed the bear you have killed that bear that was sent against you to destroy your life you have killed that lion that was roaring seeking whom to devour you have killed the goliath that was mocking god's word in your life and mocking the promises of god in your life now the countdown to your breakthrough has begun and you are going to ascend to that throne. You are already anointed for the breakthrough. You are already equipped for it. You have what it takes and you cannot be stopped on the natural it may not look like it but it doesn't matter it is the lord who has anointed your head with oil and your cup overflows as he has said in the book of psalms goodness as mercy is gonna follow you all the days of your life from now on get ready for the elevation the countdown to your breakthrough has begun David was presented with an opportunity that catapulted to his breakthrough. Listen, the victory is yours. Your better days are here and now. Your better days are not coming. They are here and now. Doors of opportunities are going to be presented to you. And it may look like... A a, a humongous challenge it may appear threatening it may appear intimidating even but it is the opportunity that is going to catapult you to your breakthrough it doesn't matter even how much you are resisted the countdown has already begun it is set it is in motion and there is nothing that can stop it God was setting you up for this opportunity to catapult you to your breakthrough. The bear that came, the lion that came, the Goliath that came, all that was the countdown to climax to your breakthrough. God has already prepared you in secret while you were killing the bear. God prepared you in secret when you were killing the lion. The opportunity that you have been waiting for is now before you and you are equipped uh, and you are ready for the challenge because remember that breakthrough is going to come with a challenge. Everything was leading up to this moment, your moment of glory and there is a reward too. David asked in Samuel chapter 17 verse 26, what shall be done for the man who kills this Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? Verse 15, the men of Israel said, it shall be that the man who kills him, the king will enrich with great riches. 
the king will give him his daughter and give his father's house exemption from taxes in Israel. Now this breakthrough is going to be huge. This breakthrough is coming with fringe benefits. It is coming <clears throat> with a reward attached to it. There may be people in your life who don't believe in you. There are people in your life who don't even believe that God has called you for greatness. David's brothers and father didn't believe in him, but that never changed nothing. There may be people in your life who don't believe in your vision. They don't believe in your dream. There are those who have even been resisting your progress. They have been resisting your advancement. They have been talking down on you and trying to make you feel insignificant. But that is not going to change nothing. The breakthrough has already been released and we are on the countdown. Saul resisted David from the moment he was honored after killing Goliath with the men, women of the town. They came singing in the book, is it in verse, verse 6 and 8, chapter 18, verse 6 and 8. Let me read it. Now it had happened as they were coming home when David was returning from the slaughter of the Philistines that the women had come out of all the cities of Israel singing and dancing to meet King Saul with, with tambourines, with joy, and with musical instrument. So the women sang as they danced and said, Saul has slain his thousands, and David has his ten thousands. Then Saul was very angry, and the saying displeased him, and he said, They have ascribed to David ten thousand, and to me, they have ascribed only a thousand. Now what more can he have but the kingdom? That statement was a prophecy. Right there, Saul prophesied David's breakthrough without even knowing it. The processing, the, 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 the procession, the dancing, the celebration was the countdown leading to the breakthrough. It was the culmination of the, of the grand of the grand breakthrough that was coming into David's life, no matter how much Saul resisted David, he could not stop what God had already done in his life, what God had ordained for him, what God had ordained him for. It could not be stopped with Saul. You know, <clears throat> you know, when you are headed for breakthrough, there is always that person, that one person, who never seems to leave you alone. That person who will always keep pursuing you to your breakthrough. That Pharaoh who will always try to bring you back to bondage. Always pursuing you to your breakthrough. Always trying to bring you back to captivity. Always trying to, to intimidate you. Always trying to make you afraid. Always trying to make you feel like you are never going to make it. That this is not of God. You are never going to see that breakthrough. But the countdown cannot be stopped by anything. God has developed a strength in you to resist the people who don't believe in your vision. God has God has has stopped the people who do not believe in your vision, those who don't believe in your dream, those who don't believe in your calling, those who do not believe in your assignment. The people who have been resisting you, the people who don't believe in your vision, in your dream, who don't believe in your in what God has called you to do, people who cannot see any purpose in your life, they have always despised you. God is taking you to a place where he is going to develop you and people who don't believe in you, people who don't believe in what God has called you to do. People who, who don't believe in your purpose, in your assignment, they cannot be in your life. God is going to eliminate them. They are going to have to exit your life. They will either have to live on their own accord because you have nothing in common with them anymore or God is just going to cut them off completely from your life. You are in your season of breakthrough. Now listen.
the dead places and areas in your life is going to receive a new lease of life. There is a resurrection power that is going to hit the dead things in your life. God always has the final say in every situation. And in this case, he is going to have the final say. It doesn't matter. Your haters are the very people who are going to prophesy your breakthrough. You are on the right tangent. You are on the right trajectory. It is just a matter of time. The countdown is already in motion and it cannot be stopped. And when the breakthrough comes, it's going to be grand. It's going to be glorious. It's going to bring glory to God. And you are going to know that it is the doing of the Lord and not the doing of man. Because in the first place, as per man's opinion, you do not qualify for that breakthrough, but God has given it to you. May the Lord abundantly bless you. I love you so, so much, but the Lord, he loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love, and there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is in Christ Jesus. Always remember that. And thank you so much for, you, for thank you for liking, for sharing my videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sending me even emails. All of you who are always emailing me, encouraging me, sowing into my life, sowing into this ministry. God abundantly bless you. I don't take you for granted. It is a privilege even to be able to minister to you. God bless you. I love you so much. Shalom.